Captain Olga. You're going to be one of the favorites to go all the way with this show, but you're a little impetuous. Just make sure you keep those blades underneath you. A great skating career ahead of you. I am healthy, competitive, and some people might disagree. I mean, Bonnie, she's always either a point or half a point ahead of me. I'm not competitive at all. This week, my choreography is very technical, and I hope that the judges pick up on that. That's it, that's it. Finish. That was, that was the idea. Oh, no. I got you, I got you. And true to form, competitive John wants to break new boundaries with his set pieces. <laughs> Let you go down. Yeah, her feet come off. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I wasn't ready for it, sorry. Are you okay, are you okay? No, no, turn. Uh, ah. But before he's got one ambitious move mastered, he's on to the next. Ooh. Oh. Oh. What was it? My knee, knee my knee. Straight on your knee? Do you need some oh. ice? Ice. Here, just, just sit, just sit, just sit, just sit. Yes. Nice one. Yeah. Get okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Skating to Black Horse and the Cherry Tree. Please welcome on the ice, Olga Sharatenko and John Barrowman. What a pity about the fall, because up until then they had been very, very good. A Wild West rodeo theme and a, a touch of line dancing, although cowboy John Barrowman was born in Scotland. They've twice been second on the judges' vote, picked each time by Bonnie Langford. They need to beat 21.5 to be ahead tonight. Surely they were on the way to that before that slip. That's the shoulder lift, and it's just a loss of an edge. And bringing down Olga as well. Well, the judges will have to interpret that. Here's the marks. Five still from Nikki, four from Krez, 3.5 from Jason, five from Karen, and 4.5 from Robin. And that puts him in the lead, 22 points. and he's still in the yeah. lead. Well, I mean, I'm not, all of us have been trained by Karen and her husband Stephen and also Jane and Chris that if we do fall, the most important thing is to get up and continue the routine. And that's what we're all learning and that's what, what I did, so. That's pretty tough to pick yourself back up, both of you, for them to pick themselves up. To get back up after a fall like that and finish, it, will, it showed that it's working, right? You're yeah. getting well, used to this eye stuff and yeah. making the, it work. I said to Chris earlier this week, I said, I feel like I'm starting to skate, and also, I'm, you know, I feel like we're such a team. We're Team Baratenko. Yeah, it's very good. I can't, I'm sorry, mate, you're dazzling me, but I can't see you. <laughs> Judge, judges. I'm almost blinded over here as well, honestly. <laughs> right, Nikki, let's come to you. A five. Fabulous. Yeah, it would have been 5.5, for sure. It would have been 5.5. You fell right at the end of the routine, yeah. so that took that out. But the rest of it, it was great. The Thank rhythm, you. the discipline you did, the skating technique you're doing, it's packed. We're, we're talking about ice dancing. And that's what you're now doing, right the way from the first step right through the routine.
Thank you, Nikki. Jason. I would have to agree. I mean, you know, John has great dynamic and energy and your partnering is great. I still think, though, that you need to start containing a little bit more because you are a bit throwaway yeah. and you tend to do the big show razzle-dazzle. Yeah. Just contain it a bit more and then I think we're going to see a really phenomenal performance from you. But you're okay. going to go all the okay. way. Okay, judges, thank you very much. Thanks very much, Chip. John's performance had you going yee-haw, then saddle up, gallop over to the phone and vote for him. Lines will be opening in just a tick. John and Olga.